what I'm showing you is a design canvas here where I've actually already pre-built a mashup. Now the blocks you see actually represent either information sources that I've consumed via point and click. All this is out of the box and, and uh, a number of these are SOAP-based web services where I've just pointed at the WSGO and consumed the metadata about how to invoke the service using Presto. And once I've done that, I name it and you see it show up there on the left in, a, in the services tab and then I'm able to drag it out onto the canvas and I'll, I'll see it as a block there. What I can then do is connect these blocks and create another service that will then additionally show up as a named service there that I can drag out as a mashup block and build on that. So the first thing I want to show you here is this input field. And this input field, I'm going to enter in the name of the SharePoint list that I want to actually get to. So I'm going to enter in direct reports there. And I'm going to connect that to a block here. And when I mouse over it, you can see that this block is an operation called get list items. Get list items is part of the, the SharePoint list web service, which we consume directly out of the box from SharePoint and allows us to interact with SharePoint list within our mashup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send that name of the list, my direct reports, to that list web service. I'm going to get back all the information that currently exists in that list. If that list changes, I'm going to see that update in real time. You'll notice I'm clicking on these little green play buttons, which I can do anywhere in the mashup and see exactly what data is flowing back to the mashup at that point. So what I'm going to do now is I want to actually clean up this data. If you look, it's, uh, it's information about my direct reports. It's a little bit, you know, not really formatted the way I want. So I wrote a custom macro from a display perspective to kind of clean up how this looks. And when I click on that, you'll see that it'll show me a little, little more beautified version. I'm going to rename this thing, call it beautify. Um, and these blocks then are also coming out of here where you see the actions tab. I already showed you um, the input, which is right here the custom macros show up down below. You can pretty much extend this to your heart's content. A macro tends to be kind of like an Excel macro where the user might write a short macro, a power user can do this and make it available to the rest of the user community. And that's a great point is that um, macros that you have defined called user-based definitions that are within Excel services and Excel services, both are web-based. So those web services and those macros defined there can be leveraged again in this interface. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this information from my CRM system and I'm going to click on the play button here. Again, this was a SOAP-based service. We point to the WSDL and we, we got back information about all the different users in the system. You see employee number over here. We see the uh, quarter, the revenue they're tracking for these different accounts. We also had employee number back in my SharePoint list. So what I'm going to do now is I would drag out this join block. I've renamed it join CRM and SharePoint data. And when I click on it, I'm joining on the employee number, which I can enter into the join box block via point and click and tell it I want to join on those two fields that exist. And I'm able to join on that and get a unified view here of the information from my SharePoint list, in other words, the direct reports and the revenue that they're tracking for their various sales leads. Now what I'm able to do is save this mashup out. I'm going to kind of save us the time, a few clicks here. I've already pre-saved it. I can save it out, and what I can do is reuse that mashup I just created that combines that information in yet another mashup. So here it is over here again in, in a separate wires view, and I'm now seeing that mashup I just created as a single block that I can now and build on as well as others can. I'm going to rename this because I don't need the operation name in here. And now I'm going to build a subsequent mashup based on the mashup I just created. And what I want to be able to do is say, you know, I don't want to see all the information about these folks. I actually want to focus just on Q3. So I'm going to pull out a filter here, and I'm going to connect these two up. And I'm going to tell the filter that I want to match on And I'm going to tell the filter that I want to match on any attribute that says Q3, and I only want to see those. So I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to find the quarter in those records, and I'm going to say, only show me where the quarter is Q3. And that'll filter out anything but Q3 results. And I'm going to rename this guy to Q3 leads. So now you can see down here in this view that I'm showing you at the bottom that I have only information, you can see the quarter here, only Q3 leads for my direct reports. Now that's called a mashlet, and what I'm able to do now is take that mashlet, and I'm going to drag it out here, 
into our personal dashboard that's part of Presto for, for creating dashboards. And I'm going to change the layout here to two columns. I think right now it's three. And I'm going to bring out this revenue forecast mesh that I'm going to drag it right out here along with the, uh, the table. Now this table represents that information from that initial uh, mashup that we created. And again, here's that pie chart that we just created in Mashlet Maker on top of uh, the information that we brought in from SharePoint and our CRM system. And by the way, all this is skinnable entirely, and you can change the look and feel to your heart's content. In fact, I was playing around with the style sheets earlier, and I think you're seeing a few errors here at the bottom because I, I did so. But you can pretty much tinker with that to your, to your heart's content. So what I can show you now is I'm going to rename this tab. And I'm going to call this tab Direct Reports. And I'm going to save that. Now I have a tab that captures that information that I just got from these two external sources. And everything I've showed you now is out of the box in Presto. What I'm about to show you is actually a sneak peek into a feature that's coming soon in an upcoming version of Presto. And this is our ability to point and click publish into SharePoint. So I've selected this information. I can now, I've created the dashboard view that I want. I can now go to the Publish tab, the Publish menu here, and I can select Publish to SharePoint. So now what I've done is I've actually published that exact same view into SharePoint. So you'll see that same view of those two mashlets based on those mashups I just created via drag and drop in SharePoint. And here's that same mashup we just created. Here's in SharePoint. Now, I'm not done yet because what we can do is we can also publish into, into WSRP compliant portals, such as what I'm showing you here, which is Oracle Web Center. And you can see now down at the bottom these exact same mash lists running in Oracle Web Center. And we find that's extremely important, not, not just because mash lists are now globally available. It, it doesn't matter what platform you are, but we realize that environments are generally heterogeneous across different organizations. And pr having a, a partner such as uh, Jackie with Presto provide basically a, a platform agnostic, but yet looking at how they can leverage SharePoint to make a better user interface and leverage our services that we're providing, like Excel services, to, you know, uh, right now they're currently uh, parsing Excel spreadsheets. And in, in the near future, they're going to actually be using the Excel services to call the web service to pull the information out of spreadsheets. So you can look at their, their, it's not only just platform agnostic, but it's leveraging the capabilities that a lot of, uh, that uh, all of our customers or a lot of our customers already own to improve the experience within mashups in general. That improves every platform. The final thing I want to show you is the same mashlets deployed into a JSR 168 compliant portal. So these are portlets in, in WebLogic, uh, currently also an Oracle product, but originally BA WebLogic. Here it is, uh, the same mashlets. So you can see that we're able to consume from disparate information sources. We're able to uh, publish, you know, via self-service and, and easy collaboration model into multiple different types of endpoints, including WSRP 168 compliant portals, including uh, Microsoft SharePoint. And we can do all this with no code. So we don't have to actually code this up. We did it via you know, point and click, drag and drop, and user self-service.